Well, hey friends, it is time to get my Christmas cleaning done. I'm so ready to set up my decor, but first I need to get my house spotless. I just can't add a whole bunch of pretty on top of crud. So I'm deep cleaning my house and I'm taking you along with me. I started out by washing all of the windows. It has been beautiful here in Northern Ontario, Canada. It's crazy we don't have snow. So I'm taking advantage of that beautiful weather and getting my windows all washed, including the windows of our front door. Next, I moved into the kitchen and I cleaned every single cabinet and drawer outside and inside. It's so important to me to make sure that everything is just spotless. And because I'm going to be doing a lot of baking and cooking over the holiday season, I really wanted to make sure that all of the surfaces were nice and clean and there was no dirt or grime hidden in my cabinets. Okay y'all, this is the grossest thing of life. I had not moved my stove in about a year and it showed and it was so gross. But you know what, my stove is spotless now. So if you haven't cleaned your stove and pulled it away from the wall in quite a while, let me tell you, you need to do it because I did not think it would be this cruddy, but boy oh boy, it was. So here I am just kind of deep, deep cleaning it. I, could, I even found that I could lift the range of the hood up of the stove a bit um, and get the crud underneath of there. I really deep clean this baby. It's a little hard to see here, but I got up my vacuum and I just went ahead and vacuumed everything up that was behind the stove. There were like toys and there were straws and there were all kinds of random things that I don't even know how they got behind there because our stove was so tight to the wall, but they were there. So then I took my Rubbermaid reveal mop and I just mopped behind the stove and I also wiped off the back of the stove to get any dust and dirt that was on the stove off. And while I didn't film this, I did do the same process with my fridge. And of course, you have got to take care of your counters. So I just sprayed everything down and I got really deep into the corners and on the walls. I also wiped off my glass canisters. They stay on my counter all year long and I made sure to wipe them off really well because with, you know, baking and cooking a lot coming up, um, I wanted to make sure that they were going to be nice and clean. So I also want to remind you to make sure that you do a really deep and good thorough cleaning of all of your floors. Make sure that you get your baseboards and the um, kick plate, I think they're called, um, you know, just the underskirting of your cabinetry. Make sure that you wipe down your chairs, like your dining chairs, kitchen chairs, um, and make sure that you get the rungs of those chairs as well, um, and table legs, just all of those things that maybe sometimes get missed with our daily cleaning, or weekly cleaning, or even monthly cleaning. I know some of those things um, don't always get done around my house, so I want to encourage you to make sure that you get those spots as well as you get ready for the holidays. It's going to be such a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will chat with you soon. Bye.